Hello everybody, my name is Jordy and today I bring a, a video to you in which I want to talk about some Led Zeppelin riffs and some of the ways in which Jimmy Page sort of like live ver in live versions of songs the way that he'll add little embellishments into certain songs. For example... <laughs> right before he does do it again here I love that I love how Jimmy Page does that in Stairway to Heaven uh, something else that I've noticed that he does in the chorus in live versions of, uh, of Stairway to Heaven is that he'll add a little dissonance and he'll do this. So whenever they're, they're playing the chorus part, dissonance to it in a good way like he resolves it he finds ways to like add dissonances here and there and still resolve them in awesome ways and by the way i'm using my uh joba namasa epiphone les paul right here because honestly this is one of my favorite guitars of all time honestly and i really love the neck it's modeled after the after joba namasa's 1958 black beauty les paul custom so he he basically made the Epiphone run uh, with the same kind of neck, which I love, by the way. It's kind of fat, but it's nice and round, and it's got a, an amazing like rollover, you know. So I just thought that I would throw that out there because he's uh, he just recently came out with the with a new Lazarus, which is a 1959 uh, Les Paul standard, like it's modeled after the 1959 Gibson Les Paul standard, which is similar to this supposedly. But instead of a 58, it's a 59. It's got a slightly thinner neck. So people who like that might want to look into that. Because these fucking Epiphones are fantastic. These uh, with the Kalamazoo headstock, I'm a huge fan of these. They're, they're freaking crazy. Awesome guitars. Um, okay, another Led Zeppelin thing that I've noticed that Jimmy Page likes to do in a live setting. The Wonton song. And he'll, he'll pretend like they're playing like Immigrant Song. You know, they'll, go, they'll do this. <laughs> pre-chorus where he starts out with an F minor and he'll play he'll follow that chord with diminished chords and minor sevenths and he'll interchange and, and do an escalating motion up the neck so if you were to do that endlessly you you get this really cool guitar effect trying to make a point obviously in the wonton song that doesn't happen but i was trying to make a point about how cool that technique is in order to escalate all the way up the neck that's the wonton song one of my favorite led zeppelin songs and one of the heaviest that they have in that same record in physical graffiti there's uh there's a song called night flight that i freaking love this song and wow. you know the the main riff is and then a suspension with the A major 
and he interchanges. And then at one point... But my, my favorite part is the, the chorus whenever they do this Chuck Berry style riff with like a blues shuffle or like a blues kind of swing part where it goes, oh. has a lot of the cube it's my busking amp pretty much that i take out and play on the street do street performance with um but i have a tiny little bit of delay like the like the the lowest setting of delay and my reverb i have it at nine o'clock um another beautiful riff by led zeppelin that is a must in any guitar player i think is the 10 years gone and I saw this recently, I think it was a, a Rhett Scholl video where he talked about 10 Years Gone and I completely agree on how that riff is a must know for most guitar players because it's such an enjoyable riff. It's universal, it's groundbreaking, it's just timeless. It transcends time. Here, I'm gonna play the some of 10 Years Gone. <laughs> somebody talked about that song and explained that riff uh, very explicitly explained it and tried to make a point about how everyone plays it wrong and that's probably true he does but the point that I'm trying to make is not about communication breakdown there's a song called sick again from uh, physical graffiti I think it's the last track in the record you know <laughs> He'll go from an E to an A, and he'll do this. version too from a 1975 Led Zeppelin concert that I saw on YouTube where he'll be playing like on an E major and he'll do this because it, it incorporates the blues and I don't know why all, most of these riffs come from physical graffiti because this is my favorite Led Zeppelin album so I, I guess I can't help but talk a lot about this particular record is a song called The Rover so I can tell that Greta Van Fleet got heavily inspired with their highway song thing that they do from this song you know that little that little riff Thank you. 
where he'll do these little triad kind of things where he'll go. Livin' Lovin' Made from Led Zeppelin 2, the second one, where he does a chromatic upward motion on the neck, on the on the G string. You get the context. So Thank you so much for watching. That's what I got for now, you know, in my Led Zeppelin arsenal, so to speak. Um, definitely look forward to watching more videos. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please uh, drop a like, leave a comment, you know, subscribe if you want to. And uh, you guys have a great day. Peace out. Bye-bye.